good morning. So we are off to the airport today. I thought I'd bring you along with us to see what it's like traveling at an airport with a service dog. My guide dog is right here on the floor. I don't know if you can see him. He's just hanging out. Um, so when we get to the airport, we're going to drop off our luggage, like our checked luggage, and then we're gonna take Zenith, my service dog, right to the bathroom. Um, we live about an hour drive away from the airport, so it's kind of a long drive. So I wanted him to just like go at the airport right before we like go through security and stuff, rather than having him go just before we left. So anyway, he went um, right when we woke up this morning, and he's gonna go again at the airport. Sorry, it's a little bumpy in the car. Um, but anyway, that's our plan for now, so I will see you at the airport. One more thing I forgot to mention. So we are going to the Philly airport, because that's the one that's closest to my house, and we are flying to Orlando to start our Disney cruise, and I'm very excited. Okay, see you at the airport. See you forward. All right, we just checked our bags on, and now we are headed to find the dog potty area. Good boy. Good job. What? Right? Uh, left. Off right. 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 Good boy. I can talk about it more in a second when we get where we're going, but now we're just trying to find like our gate or terminal or whatever it's called. We're finding where we're going. <laughs> Zenith right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Come on, good boy. Leave it. Let's go. Yeah, wow. walking like to our gate and we found something a little crazy I wanted to show you guys. So we found the indoor service animal relief area which usually is like in a little room like a bathroom but it's just like out in the open here. So here it is. Like literally this is the airport and this is the service animal relief station. It's just inside. There's a little fire hydrant with grass and yeah we haven't seen something like that before. That's interesting. Um, here, come. Oh wow, it really smells, but I guess that's normal. Here, forward. So we've tried using indoor service animal release stations before, and it's never really worked. He's never gone. I tell him, like I give him the command to go, but he just refuses to. So I think it's because he doesn't like going, leave it. He doesn't like going inside. Um, I don't know, I think it just feels too unnatural to him to go to the bathroom inside. So we just use the outdoor ones, but it's good to know where the indoor ones are in case of emergency anyway. Leave it. Oh boy. Hop right, bud. Zenith, hop right. Good 
doesn't understand that like we're trying to find a specific seat, so he's just trying to take me to any seat, which is why he's annoyed and keeps trying to like go into a spot where we're not supposed to go. Fala, where's my mom? Fala, good Fala, bud. Fala. Fala. There's a flight leaving out of this gate. Oh, uh, before us. Fala. Good Fala. All right, we made it to the gate and now we're just gonna have some quick lunch and then I can catch you up on what happened at security because it was kind of funny, but I need to eat first, so. All right, so I just finished eating lunch and we're settled in at the gate. We have, I think, a little under an hour until we go. Sorry, I'm wearing sunglasses. It's really bright here, um, so I need them. But I just thought I'd tell you guys about what happened at security. So overall, security went really well. We just weren't able to film because, you know, it was security and we were busy getting stuff done. Um, but for me, everything went fine. I um, had Zenith sit like next to the metal detector and put him in a stay. I told him to rest because that's the command we use. Um, and then I walked through, I did not beep. He walked through, of course, he made the thing beep because he's wearing metal. Um, so then he got patted down, everything was fine then. Um, they swiped my hands to like make sure nothing bad was on them. Um, that test came back fine. Um, so that whole thing went really smoothly and there wasn't even like a line. It was really easy and everyone knew like what to do, so nothing went wrong there. The only little funny mishap we had was with um, his bag of stuff, which we ended up just using like as a carry-on. We were gonna check it, but then we didn't. So anyway, it's like carry-on size. So you saw in my packing video, it was in there. Well, when it went through the security machine, um, they saw like a sharp object in there and they were concerned that there was some sort of weapon in his bag. So they were like, okay, we have to search this. And we were like, yeah, sure. Like it's just the service dog supplies. Like it's nothing, like whatever, to search it. So they went through the bag and they found his Nyla bone in there. And they were like, oh, this is what we thought was a weapon. So it was really funny. It made the security guy laugh, but we were good to go then. His Nyla bone made it through just fine. But yeah, now we're at the gate waiting to board and I will show you when we get on the plane. We're gonna pre-board because um, we have a disability. Well, I have a disability so we get to pre-board um, and it helps to be able to settle him. We always sit at the window seat but you'll see that when we get on. To all my pre-boards to any young travelers 15 and under, you cannot sit in an emergency exit. All right guys, at this time I'd like to welcome my pre-boards. Again, that's anyone with a pre-boarding boarding pass, welcome aboard. Are you going to Orlando? Yes. You are? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, here we go. Good boy, let's go. Good boy. This is just here, out of the way. All right, we just made it on the plane. It's the boarding. Sorry, it's kind of close because the plane's tiny. But we are good. He's tucked under my seat. So we're in the window seat. We choose not to be in the aisle seat because 
um, when the cart's like rolling up and down, we don't want it to be able to like hit his foot if it's hanging out a little bit. And I don't like being in the middle because I don't want someone to like have to climb over him because he takes up like all my leg room. So in the window seat, it's perfect. We're safe, out of the way. No one has to climb over us. Um, and it has a nice spot here for his harness right next to the window. Um, I don't make him. I don't make him wear his harness while he's on the plane because it's just uncomfortable and he's you know squished in a small spot anyway. So like he's fine. Um, so he just tucked under the seat. I just showed you, but I can show you again quick. Um, but we're good. It's I think about like a two-hour flight, so it's not too long. He's just gonna lay under the seat. We've done longer flights than this, so it's not a big deal. He's just happily curled up under his seat. They offered us the bulkhead seating, but I like to be um, behind another seat, so he actually has like a physical space that is his to be in. It works well for us, so we're good, and we're gonna take off soon, hopefully. We're still boarding more people.
All right, so we just got off the plane. It was a really easy flight, actually. I was kind of surprised that everything just went fine. So we are here in Orlando. Um, now we're headed to baggage claim. My dad is gonna wait and get the bags while my mom and I take Zenith outside to the bathroom because as you know, it's been a little while since he's gotten a chance to go, but I'm sure he's fine. Here, left. Good boy, left. Um, so yeah, that's where we're headed now. Um, and I'll see you when we get there. Zenith okay. forward. Good boy. Here, left. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Hold on. Okay. Down. Paper. hotel room we just came from the um, doggy relief area as you saw we came checked into our hotel room and here we are so <laughs> Zenith is enjoying the window hi bud good boy and then we have his harness luggage stuff up here already broke into his suitcase to get a bone and this is our hotel room it's so nice hi um, so yeah I mean as you saw our flight really couldn't have gone better he did a great job in the airport um, you know, navigating the airport on the way to our flight. Security was easy. Um, the flight itself, easy. It actually ended up being quicker than we expected. Um, it wasn't really bumpy. Everything was just good. For takeoff and landing, he just stayed in his downstay, tucked under the seat, and didn't move. He didn't seem like phased or anything. I don't know. It was just, it was super easy. This wasn't our first flight, but still, it's nice to see it, you know, go well. Here, he's so cute. Looking out his window, good boy. I don't know if you can see him or not. I don't know. There. 
So that was our flight. I hope it was helpful for you guys to see the process of flying with a service dog. Definitely let me know in comments if you have any questions. Today was a great day, so it was a great, you know, example of what it's like to fly with a service dog. And I hope it goes smoothly if you ever have to fly with your doggo. Um, but yeah, that's all. So I will say goodbye. I hope you're having a great day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Do they have birds out the window? I doubt it. It's inside. <laughs> goodbye, Zinit. Say bye to the friends. <laughs> okay. Bye.